Is blue light affecting your sleep? Are you that person who loves to be on your devices and checking your messages or your Instagram or your TikTok or your YouTube videos, your Netflix right before bed especially? This can really be damaging to your sleep, especially for your melatonin levels. Now, we know that when light hits the retina in our eyes, there's something called, and it's an enzyme called AANAT, and this production becomes depressed of this enzyme that actually helps to increase melatonin, but we're suppressing it by having that light hitting our eyes. So when we have no light, then our melatonin levels can actually accumulate, and that's what can help with our sleepiness and of course having a deep night's sleep. Now, if we chronically suppress that melatonin with that light exposure, especially in the evening, this is definitely implicated in serious health risks. So things like cancer are very much related to our lack of melatonin levels, which beyond sleep is a very powerful antioxidant. So there was a study done and it was talked about the iPad hangovers. So for five days in a row, four hours before lights out time and bedtime, but in otherwise dim light, the study participants either used an Apple iPad on the maximum amount of brightness, or they read a print book with natural ambient light. Now the iPad's peak light output was in the blue range, and we know that all of our devices tend to be high in those blue nanometer lengths of light, usually around 450 or above. We know that natural sunlight is around 500 nanometers, but that 470-ish nanometers is that blue light from the sun first thing in the morning. And what does that do? It wakes us up. It turns off our melatonin. So we know that those correlations are definitely there. And they found that the study participants using the iPads just before bed, they took them about 10 minutes longer to fall asleep. So that doesn't seem like much, but they experience less REM sleep and they found it much harder to feel fully awake the next morning as compared to the people who just read the print book. So I think it's interesting, you know, to note that yes, it has been studied that blue light definitely will affect your sleep and your circadian rhythms. I have other videos on what you can do to limit your blue light exposure and toxicity and maximize your good sleep. So I hope you check out my other videos as well. So there you have it today. I talked all about circadian rhythms. Is blue light toxicity affecting your sleep? It probably is and probably affecting your kids sleep as well so make sure you share this video with them if you do have questions or comments I'd love to hear from you drop it in the comment section below I appreciate a big thumbs up and also click the bell to turn on your notifications and make sure that you are subscribed everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature thanks for watching